hello, good morning. Howdy, afternoon, evening. It's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I am here to host our, our monthly patron healing list event. So this is for some of my Temple of Balance patrons who pledged $15 or more for November. So thank you so much for your support. I have 44 people on my list today and I'm very excited to connect. I knew straight away when I got up this morning that uh, it needed to be focused around mandalas for some reason. I think of mandalas as a great sort of focal point. So bringing the energy together, bringing us into a space of focus, which is great for things like goal setting, um, also building our strength, getting back in charge of our thoughts, um, even working on things like projects or creative endeavours or um, ideas that we want to manifest. So there's something orderly about the mandala, which is what I'm really interested in connecting with today. So I've been thinking about and feeling upon how am I going to work with that mandala energy? So what I'm going to do, I've got a blank piece of cardboard here. I have the 44 of you on my healing list here, and I have 88 little pieces of blue tack here. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put, uh, stick your names basically around this mandala or around this piece of paper, and then I'm going to add some paint and some colour. So I'd be really interested to see which paints, which colours, which patterns are around your name. Um, and I'll also be talking through what I'll be doing as I paint and create. So it's going to be very creative. If you feel inspired to get out some paper, get out some pencils, some paints, some pastel, even just a pen or, or whatever you want to do, um, you might want to join with me and create a mandala yourself. So you may see I've got two kind of circles here. Let me lower the camera so I can show you. But I have, uh, I grabbed a glass from my kitchen and I grabbed a plate from my kitchen and I didn't measure it out obviously, but I just put it roughly in the center. It's really good when you're creating a mandala to just have some type of, um, almost like a very loose template so that you know roughly where center is and you can work around that center. So if you are going to create a mandala too, why not work out the center point, maybe grab a glass or something around you that's circular that you can put roughly in the center that will create a template or a foundation for you to create your mandala. So before I start adding names, I want to pull a healing energy card and uh, see. So welcome everybody. If you are on my list today, then um, thank you and just allow, like always, allow the energy to roll and flow and uh, be what it needs to be for you. Just think of everything I share as a guide only, uh, a guide to guide you, <laughs> hopefully where you need to go or what you need to see, what you need to experience. If you're not on my healing list today, there's nothing stopping you from still participating. It just means that I won't have your name personally on the board, but you can still participate. And if I was connecting and I wasn't on the list, what I would be doing is I'd be making sure I'm really open to receiving the healing and the energy and the information, the guidance that I need at this time. So I'd be really listening. I'd be keeping my heart open and my body open to really letting myself feel and experience what I need. Because I trust that all of you have been led here for a reason. And whether you're connecting live as it happens or later, I do trust that there is a reason that you're here. So I'm looking for the best healing energy card to get this ball rolling. I will probably pull a card throughout this connection today as well. I think I'll be here for about, uh, I don't know, about 40 minutes, give or take 10 minutes either side so see how we'll see how we go and flow so the best healing energy card for those of us those of you on the healing list as we prepare to start is this oh interesting we have the mandala card at the bottom 
But this card here, ah, oh, it's self-love, card seven. And it says down here, spend time in reflection, silence or solitude to help you love and accept who you are. Allow yourself to receive, look within and pure love. Now the, the sentence that really stands out as I read that is allow yourself to receive. So I want to highlight or emphasize that this is your time for you. So no matter what you've got going on in your life, no matter what you're stressed or worried or concerned about, um, no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you have to do today or tomorrow or what's coming up, this is now time, this short amount of time. If we look at the whole week, we're looking at about 40 minutes within the whole week. Can you allow yourself to receive during this time? Can you give this little bit of time back to yourself to receive the focus, the strength, the um, structure, the stability that you might be needing right now? So self-love, definitely, but I also feel really strongly that this is a reminder for you now to let yourself receive. So how to do that? Take some nice big breaths. Try and put aside everything you've got to do, everything that's been on your mind. I like to imagine I have a box sitting outside my door and I imagine putting all those things I have to do in that box. I can come back to it later, but I want to just be fully present in the here and now. So I encourage you to be as fully present in the here and now as you can so you can dive into this experience. Maybe grab your journal. Start scribbling and creating a mandala with me. That would be a great thing to focus on too. So a bit of a distraction, if you like, from what's going on in your life, but also a time where you can let yourself receive what you need. So let's start. It's very hot today, so I've got my curtains closed, which is why it's probably a little darker than usual, but I have my light here on. So I'll just turn that up a bit. I think it's up full. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab people's names out of this bowl and I'm going to stick you in wherever I need to stick you on the paper. So that's where I'm going to start. So um, let's get a bit of a routine happening here. I've got all these pieces of blue tack to stick you on. We've got to start with Amanda Sanders. <laughs> so I'm just sticking some sticky stuff here on the back of Amanda Sanders and I'm not really going to think about it too much I'm just going to put you down here where you need to go next is David Magnus you're early on the list today David welcome Amanda's here wonderful I think David might be too or he was earlier so David we're going to put you here next on my list is Anik Beal Anique, let's put you here. Oops. I don't really have glue anymore because my children aren't glue in glue age, <laughs> you know, when you do a lot of craft. So this was the best thing I could find. Although I suppose I could have sticky tape, use sticky tape. But uh, Sandy Greenham, you're next. So welcome into our circle. You can come here just under Anique. Ah, David, great. Next is Sarah Jones. Sarah. So as I'm adding you, imagine maybe that you're finding your centre, you're finding your place where you need to go. And this is very much about the structure, the stability that you're looking for in your life. Susie Nichols. Susie will put you right down here. Next is Marguerite Pepper Brady. Marguerite, let's put you down here too. I feel like I want to create some steps coming into the mandala. Hello, Anna. Next is Ellen Stensley. Ellen, we'll add you to the steps here. The steps leading into centre. I'll zoom in a bit too once I start painting. Carly, you're running away from me. Carly Chiricciello. 
let's get your sticky on and we'll add you down here to the steps too so what steps do you need to take if you're on my steps area what steps do you need to take to find stability Rebecca Ross you're also going on the step and the last person on the step oh is not that person because I already had one here it's Kimberly Vaness Kimberly what steps do you need to take to find stability focus in your life next is Andrea Stewart Andrea let's add you here next is Pamela Floria And then we have Kathleen Glenn. Like arms of the sun. Avril Daly. Then we have Elle Dubois. Elle. Let's put you over here. Then we have Loretta Martin. Now aside from the circles that you see here, <laughs> hi Jane, uh, aside from these circles and the names I'm starting to add, I have no plan at all as to what colours I'm going to use, how this is going to turn out. I'm just very much trusting, just so you know if you're new to my work. Loretta Let's actually add you here, parallel with David, Loretta Martin. Then we have Leslie Lagle. Leslie, let's, this feels like energy coming in, Leslie. Uh, we'll add you here with David and Loretta. Then we have Carol White. I haven't done one of these before, by the way. This is the first time. I'm going to add you there too. I like that. Alison. Add you here too. This feels like energy coming in. This feels like stepping in as well. Next is Priscilla Kimboko. Priscilla. Let's add you here. And then we have Christopher Regan. Then we have, hello Joanne. Yeah, of course, you're very welcome to listen and watch and connect. Absolutely. Anybody who's not on the list, you're very welcome to stay. Susan Macmillan. Put you here. And if you would like to be on the list for next month, just have a look on the video uh, information. You'll find my Patreon page as well, uh, where you can look further into being on the healing list. It's the $15 a month level, and you can stay for uh, one month, you can stay for two or three, or however long you want, or cancel any time. Matthew, Matthew Keith. Let's actually put you here. The reason I hesitate is because I wanted to make you curve, but I can't because <laughs> it printed flat. That's okay. Susan Sonsting. Susan, let's put you, I want to put you way down here. So let's put you down here. Then we have Martha Samuels. Martha, I'm going to put you out here in space <laughs> for some reason. Charlie Ross. Okay, where do you want to go, Charlie? We'll put you here. You're very welcome. Gail McCoy. Gail, let's put you here. Then we have Raina Ortiz. Raina. We'll put you there. We've got Mary Ann Osius. 
And you can come here next to Sarah. Jane Larson. Jane's here. Take a nice big breath, Jane. And we're going to put you over here. And we've got a few more left in here. We've got Janice Chalmers. Janice. Put you down here with Susan. Ah, Pamela's here too. Welcome. Bridget. Bridget Mertens. Put you here, stepping stone coming into the mandala. We've got then Anne Marie Douglas. Anne Marie. We have next Angie Griswold. Angie, let's put you right up the top. Then we have County DV Weedad. Let's put you over here. Then we have Chelsea Keith. You can go down there, Chelsea. Then we have Sondra Battles. Oh, need a name first. We have Angela James next. Angela, I'll put you here above Matthew. Then we have Magenta Borales. Magenta is new, your first healing event, so I trust you enjoy it. Welcome. I'm going to put you up here under Angie. Then we have Linda Davidson. Linda, I'd like to put you in here. That means we've got two left. Is that right? Oh no, we've got one jumped out. Luckily I just saw that. Because I did enough little blue tack pieces for everyone. So, Jacqueline Taylor, Jackie. Let's put you over here. Then we have Joanna Levine. Joanna, yours jumped out. <laughs> Yours jumped out onto my paint palette, ready to go. Joanna, let's pop you here. And lucky last, but not least, is Nicole Wiggins. So Nicole, let's add you here. Okay, so let's just come down a bit and I'm going to zoom in. Oops, can I zoom in? No, I don't think I can. Let's bring this in a bit, but I still need room to be able to paint. And I trust you can see. Let's open the curtain anyway. So we're a bit brighter, hopefully. Okay, so we have all these beautiful names here. And I'm going to start adding some colour. So what I need to do, I have my paint palette. <laughs> very well used ice cream lid and I have my paints which I'm using these Joe Sonia's I've got the primary colors and white and black because I don't buy colors that are mixed I mix my own so I'm just now squeezing a little bit of every color onto my palette I suppose I can turn the camera around. Oops. <laughs> um, where are we? Let's just lower you here. So I'll just add a bit of red in my red section. A bit of yellow. So what I'd be really noticing now, especially those of you on the board, is what colours, what happens, what do I talk about? when I'm near your name. Okay, now I have, oh, oops, I left my paintbrushes over there. 
Corey's going to grab them for me. I have a little uh, glass jar here of water. I've got some tissues because I will probably go quite runny with my paint because I like to really water down my acrylic paint. Yeah, this is acrylic. I haven't used that brush before, so I don't know. This is my favourite brush, which is Japanese calligraphy. Um, so I'll be wetting that and we'll just go for some colours. So with that, let's turn you back around. So I'm thinking uh, mandala for focus, for goal setting, for strengthening, for healing, for motivation, to represent things coming together. Now, any time, I think every time I've started a mandala, I start in the middle because I feel like everything seems to come from that middle place. So what I'm going to do, grab a little bit of water on my brush. I want to use yellow, so I'm just watering down some yellow paint. I might even hold it here so you can kind of see what I'm doing if you want. So I'm just dipping into water so I get a nice watery consistency. And we're going to start here in the middle with a yellow I'm not going to colour that in. So this feels like it brings power to the heart, strength to our heart. How we feel about ourselves, our relationships, our life. So strength of heart. Okay, let's rinse off the yellow and now we'll start adding some red. Red. Coming out. I'm not usually painting mandalas too. I'm usually drawing. So it will be a little different. Okay, so red extending out. Let's use that red, mix it with a little bit of yellow and make some orange. Okay, and we'll go around this yellow heart with some orange to frame the power of our heart, frame our heart with orange, which to me is about emotion and it's also about creativity. Then let's extend. I'm going to go over names. We'll extend this orange out through. Now if I'm extending orange over you or your area, orange, like I say, it's about um, the emotions, it's about creativity, it's about sexual energy as well. So allowing these arms of orange to radiate out. We're also going to just add some yellow to this. So yellow is power, it's strength, it's our ability to keep going and not give up. So like a radiating sun, this radiating heart. Now I want to add some green. So I don't have green in my palette, so I'm just going to grab a bit of yellow to the side and a tiny touch of blue to make the green I want. And a little bit of white because I want it just a bit lighter. For some reason it's very bubbly. But we have a green here. So we're going to add green coming through. Green for healing. Green for growth. Green for change. So usually mandalas start from the centre point and then it doesn't really matter what you do from there. This also feels like a green, the sort of shade that brings clarity. Clarity to those who are being touched by the green. 
in the green areas. I want to add some really light blue. So I'm just adding, uh, grab a bit of blue with some white. In fact, I probably should just add a little bit of blue to the white because it's going to be quite, oh no, that's fine. We'll just water it down a bit. Okay, so now I'm going to run with this outer line that I already had here. I'm just going to use the length of my brush to create some repetitive blue strokes. So blue, truth, expression, communication. So allowing the truth to come in for us and the clarity that comes with that truth. The clarity to know what we need to do to take the steps that we need to take. Okay. Let's go deep now into black. So black, I feel, representing the unknown, represents the void, potential, possibilities. So what are you preparing to step into? What unknown thing awaits you? And how do you feel about it? Can you create a bridge? A window? A space? Uh, an access point? for you to bridge that gap between the known and the unknown, between the old door and the new door. I don't mind if the paint runs. I, want, I really want the paint to do its own thing here. These feel like eyes, like the feathers of a peacock. Eyes watching, protecting, guarding. Let's add some purple with that. So I'm just going to grab a bit of red and add with the blue I've already mixed up. Purple for wisdom, understanding. This is a bit like a ready. Yeah, like a, a red violet. I'm going to create these eyes here. Protection being watched over. Focusing. Seeing. And I'll keep using this colour. I'm going to just create pattern using the length of my brush. I'm just pushing down. Okay, and I'm not finished with these eyes yet. Let's add some raw blue straight from the bottle, watered down, and this is helping us see the truth, to see how things truly and really are.
Trust you're feeling good there. Going to start adding some blue now into this center part. I feel like bringing truth into our hearts now. So carrying it through from what we see, the reality that we're living, carrying it through from the eye into the heart, through to the eye, how we see, what we're viewing, and into our heart. So bringing the truth in, allowing ourselves to see the truth in the, this situation. The truth about the people that we've been sharing our life with that may, um, may not be true. Maybe the place that we're working that doesn't resonate with our truth any longer. Maybe there's something that we've been quite happy to do which just doesn't fit in any, anymore. So carrying the truth into our heart so we can decide what we want to do with that information. What do we want to do with the truth that we're seeing? Are we going to turn a blind eye? Or are we going to bring it into our life and do something with it? Now bringing blue over the yellow heart in the centre. This is bringing truth into our heart, which now turns this colour into green. So as we bring the truth into our heart, it helps us heal. It helps bring about change for us in our life. Change, improvement. Now I want to add some pink. So I just need to squeeze out a bit more white. So pink for love, pink for support. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of red to the white to make a nice shade of pink for support, for love. So support for you while you figure out what you're going to do with this truth that you're tapping into. What are you going to do with what you've discovered? Or what you're discovering? Know that you're supported as you make the decision that you need to make. Know that you're supported as you sit with the truth in your heart. And also allowing love in. Allowing love into your precious, tender heart. Okay, yellow. Let's bring some yellow back. I need a yellow top up. So how is everyone doing? How are you feeling there? Okay, so let's go out into the void, out into space, out into these people out here. Martha Samuels, Andrew Griswold, Magenta Borales. We've got Alison and Carol White. We've got Susan Sonsteng, Carly Chirichiello, Rebecca Ross, Kimberly Vaness, all of you guys that are pretty much untouched out here in the void, out here where there is potential for anything, out here where you can strip yourself bare of the things that are holding you back. So you can start afresh. I'm going now against the mandala's patterning of coming out from the centre. And I just feel I want to create these yellow spirals out here. These new ideas, these potentials, these new beginnings that want to stir out here in the unknown, in the great void of potential. Here over the steps, the stepping stones that lead into the mandala. So 
So what ideas, what new things do you want to bring into your life, whether your name's out here or not? Where is your life feeling stuck or stagnant or boring? What can you do to change that, to improve it and bring those changes into your life? The red is about the physical. So how can you bring this now into your life? into your everyday experience. How can you have a go? Try something new. Apply your ideas. Manifest them into form. Okay, we're getting close now to being done, I want to add some more black. So I really would like to work on these stepping stones. So I'm going to overlap. I'm going to overlap what I've done here. I'm going to use these names here to create stepping stones into our future, into our potential, into these new beginnings that we feel brewing and growing inside us. These stepping stones that take us into our heart, into ourselves. Let's add, make some brown. Brown with a bit of yellow, red and blue. Needs a bit more blue. I don't think I've got any blue out, so let's just grab a little whisk of blue. Let's add some brown for grounding. It's a bit too much blue, but we'll add some red. Okay, grounding stepping stones. Walking the ladder, climbing the rope, moving into wherever it is we're going. So for all of us, it's probably going to be different. It might be going inward for healing. It might be finding the courage to make some changes in our life. Step into some new doors. Embrace new beginnings. Bring the truth into our life. So what are you being encouraged to step into? Or it could also be from another perspective, what are you stepping out of? Because stepping out will also bring you in. So find the courage to step in. Bring the new energy through. Now bringing white into our hearts. This feels like a purity of heart. Okay, I think we're actually pretty much finished the mandala. So now I've, oh sorry, I'm rocking the video camera, just clearing my brush. Let's now look at this closer. So 
with everything that I've said aside, let's just look and get a general feel of this. It feels balanced. It feels like a flower in some ways. A flower with a stem going into the centre of the flower. This feels like light coming down like sun, like the sun, like energies from above to help feed the flower. It feels like it's all coming into the center and everything grows from here. So the stem seems to come out of the center, the energy coming in to keep it growing, to keep it warm, to keep it strong is also being fed into the center and growing out. So there's a strong feeling here of everything coming into the center and we're being reminded to not only find our center if we feel like we don't have it, but hold our center because it's from that center point, whether it's our heart or for you, whether it represents the heart or something else about yourself, that will be your center point that will help you blossom and grow and expand from there. Out here in the void, in the rest of the space that's not encompassing or in the structure of this flower, there is potential out here. There is a potential for adventure, for new discoveries, learning new things about ourselves. There is potential for new ideas and for change and improvement in our life. This is also feeling a bit like a windmill. And this is the, the, um, the, <laughs> I forget what you call it, the structure that keeps it um, like the scaffolding, but it's not that. I don't know, the word's just not in my head right now. But it feels also like a windmill, that this is spinning and turning. So this reminds us of change and the changes that the cycles that we go through in our life, the ups and the downs, the ebb and the flow, they're moving in, moving out. But we're always pinned, it feels pinned to this structure, this uh, form that keeps us anchored so we don't go flying off like a, um, a balloon that's just blowing ar around without any anchor point to the earth. So this is our anchor point. These stepping stones are our anchor point. This is our grounded grounding point as things move and spin in our life. If things are spinning too fast, it's always going to feel like it spins faster when we're out here on the edge. It goes faster than if we're in the centre, we barely feel like we're moving at all. So another really strong emphasis around the centre, around keeping our centre so things don't feel like they're spinning out of control or we're spinning into overwhelm. But when we're actually in centre, we're one, we're not spinning so fast and two, we're really anchored to this structure that keeps us rooted, it keeps us grounded, it keeps us earthed and present. So there's a lot of movement in this and I feel a lot of potential shifting from this connection. So see how you feel, notice, I trust you've noticed where your name is here and where you sit in this structure and in this creation because that will also show you where you're sitting. If you're way out here on the edges within this sort of spinning windmill then you might feel like things have been spinning out of control and you might need to kind of imagine yourself coming back into the centre here. If you're in the centre part you're probably feeling fairly balanced. If you're out here you're probably um, in a space of discovery, a space of figuring out your new balance, your new centre, your new way of being, which happens when we go through changes. If you're here in this structure, you're probably feeling quite grounded or maybe need to um, experience some grounding, some time in nature, some connection with your body to help you um, create a solidness, a stability here uh, within yourself. And if you're out here with the energy that's coming in then it feels like you've been encouraged to really align with that new that's coming in to the center so there's a lot within this in fact when I'm finished I'm going to take a photo and I'll put it up on our patreon wall so you can see it a bit closer and zoom in if you need to so thank you 
I trust that and this supports you at this time. Let's just bring the camera up a wee bit. Oops. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, welcome and thank you. Thanks for joining me. I am going to pull a card um, to finish up. So just see how this all sat for you and where it fits into your life at this time. I want to thank you so much for your support of my work for November and um, I look forward to connecting with you again next month if you're inspired to come along. If you are not on the list and would like to be next month, thank you, Jane. Oh, hi, Susie. Um, if you would like to be on the list next month, please have a look on my Patreon page. You'll find the link in the video somewhere and um, it's the $15 level that will give you access to the healing list plus um, a few other things too, like the Pillar of Light membership and a meditation for, for the month as well. So if you want to learn more about me and the work I do at Temple of Balance, please visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au. Thanks so much, Pamela. So I'm looking for the best card to go. So this is especially um, based on what we've talked about, what we've done. What do we need to know now moving forward? So what might be a good focal point for us? What do we need to think about or talk about as we move forward now into our life again? So we've allowed ourselves to receive, I trust, and now we've got to get back to the things in our everyday life. So how can we bring all of this stuff into our everyday life? We have this card. Okay, this has been pretty popular lately. It's card 19 called Mental Healing. It says healing of the mind through exploration and inner reflection, which leads into an expansion, an expansion from that center point, so a growing and expansion of the mind. It says ego healing, which we could also say is healing of our wounds, our issues. It talks about mental chaos, but also grounding. And there is some chaos in this. It's quite busy. There's a lot of stuff going on. And sometimes that's how we feel in our life, especially if we're spinning out around here and things are moving very quickly and f things feel like they're moving out of control. So what we can think about doing if we're feeling chaotic and the energy is chaotic in our life right now is how can we find our center? If you resonate with the heart energy, then maybe for you, your center is in your heart. Sometimes for me, my center does feel like it's in my heart. Other times my center feels like it's in my solar plexus chakra, which is, my, which is our power center just above the navel. And then other times my center point is actually the whole alignment of my spine. So it really depends on how I feel or what I'm going through will depend on where my center point really sits at that time. So I trust in the flexibility of it, that it's not a fixed place, which is why I encourage you to find what is your center point now. It might be a word. Sometimes it's a word that you just feel really drawn to. And if you repeat that word or really sort of embody that word throughout the day or the days to come, sometimes that can be your kind of uh, focal point for center. So it doesn't even have to be a place in your body. So see how it could be your breath. Your breath as well is a great way of bringing you back into center. So what might be a really good thing to think about if this resonates with you is what is your current center point? And you probably also want to look at where are you feeling a bit out of balance or where are you feeling out of center? Because this can also be an indicator as to what you need to do to find the center if that makes sense. So for example, if you've been um, really struggling to breathe lately, if you've been breathing really shallow, um, or you feel like you've lost your breath, or you um, are trying to catch your breath, and there's just this highlight around breath, maybe um, you've had asthma attacks recently, or what have you, but maybe there's a focus around your breath. So it might be looking like it's on a negative sort of um, perspective, if you like, but actually it's probably helping you or highlighting that maybe your center point is your breathing. So then look at, okay, consciously breathing, breathing slow, big, deep breaths, or whatever you can manage. So sometimes these things kind of point us into where that point will be. So the center point is also 
where we're also going to find our balance. So this card is highlighting that our mental state now moving forward. And it's probably going to be really important for us to focus on the our center or focus on what stood out for you in this connection and how you feel and how you can use that as a focal point to move forward rather than being swept into the chaos of your life. So how can you refocus yourself? How can you get your mind on board with what you want and where you want to travel, where you want to go right now? So uh, my mental healing. So really paying attention to our mind moving forward. So thank you so much. I trust you've enjoyed this connection today and you've received something helpful and supportive for you. Um, just, yeah, allow the energy to settle for the next few days and enjoy. So I'll see you again real soon. Take care of yourself and uh, goodbye for now. Namaste. Thank you.